Fox News anchor Glenn Beck was the first to criticize Jones. This after a group co-founded by Jones, The Color of Change, tried to lead a boycott of Beck's TV sponsors. The Van Jones controversy has led to new scrutiny of other Obama appointees. Among them, Mark Lloyd, recently named as Chief Diversity Officer of the Federal Communications Commission. In 2008, Lloyd made these comments at a media reform conference in which he appears to praise leftist leader Hugo Chavez. In this way, Chavez uh, really had an incredible revolution, a democratic revolution, to begin to put in place things that were going to have an impact on the people of Venezuela. Conservative radio show hosts like Rush Limbaugh have also narrowed in on Lloyd for a report he co-authored for the liberal think tank the Center for American Progress, in which he argues that commercial private radio shows that aren't diverse enough should pay a fee to public broadcasters. Lloyd, in a statement to CNN, defended himself, saying, quote, the point I was trying to make was that there was dramatic social change in places like Rwanda and Venezuela, and that media played an important part in that. I am not a Chavez supporter. I do not support any political leader other than the president of the United States. I do believe all Americans would benefit from more opportunities to participate in media and that the answer to ugly speech is not censorship, but more speech. Mark Lloyd, who worked at CNN in the 1980s, also has the title of Associate General Counsel at the FCC. In addition to Chief Diversity Officer and like President Obama's czars, he does not have to go before the Senate for confirmation. The only individuals who need congressional approval at the FCC are the commissioners. Lou? And Lisa, when you talk about diversity so that we might be clear, Mark Lloyd isn't talking about ethnic, racial or religious diversity. He's talking about more liberals on the air. That's absolutely right. And when you look at this paper that he co-authored at the Center for American Progress, a very liberal think tank in this town, uh, it's very clear that what he wants to do is to go after some of these con conservative broadcasters and try to essentially give a leg up to more liberal uh, voices out there. In other words, he wants to turn the market upside down and supplant the market uh, with government fiat. Uh, that's what some of the concerns are, Lou.